Hey everyone, and welcome to Multiverse Media, the channel that talks all things geek culture. I'm Asher Friedberg, and today we are going to be talking about who we think is really pulling the strings behind the Time Variance Authority in Loki. Before we jump in, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share to help our channel grow. Also, I'll issue a spoiler warning for anyone who hasn't seen episodes 1 through 5 of Loki. Back in episode 4, we learned that the Timekeepers are actually Disney World animatronics, and according to Sylvie, were puppets. This throws a lot off, as according to the TVA's informational video, they were the ones behind everything. Now, that's not to say everything in the informational video is false, but this does leave a vacuum in terms of the TVA, and that's who is in charge. As of Episode 5, we learn that Ravonna Renslayer also doesn't know who is really in control of the TVA, and as far as we've been seeing, Renslayer would be the one to know if anyone does. Now, let's talk about some options here. First, I'll start with a the popular theory, and that's that Kang the Conqueror is secretly behind the Time Variance Authority. While this would make sense, given that Kang is a character who can move throughout time, I just don't think it's him. Fact is, we're five episodes in and haven't even gotten a hint that Kang plays a role in the series. That's not to say that Kang isn't involved though, but I just don't think he's going to be the one revealed to be the mastermind. I think it'd be weird if a character we haven't met yet, or even heard of in the MCU, turned out to be the big bad of the Loki series. So, who is the big bad of Loki? My theory is that it's Loki. Now, that means nothing, as we have met many different Lokis already, but my theory is that maybe the Loki from the Sacred Timeline is actually the one pulling the strings. A main theme in this series, Loki, is about how Lokis never die. They're resilient. Obviously, we saw Loki get his neck snapped back in Infinity War and seemingly died, but in Episode 5, Classic Loki shared that during that confrontation with Thanos, he conjured a perfect duplicate of himself to fool Thanos into thinking he was dead. That Loki then left to live a life of solitude before he eventually was pruned by the TVA. We now know that it's possible for a Loki to have fooled Thanos in his final moments and actually survive. But here's another question. Why would his file have ended after being played by the variant Loki that we follow in the series? Well, we know that the TVA has no problem hiding the truth, and if this version of Loki did later go on to create or control the TVA, I can imagine he would cover up his secret escape from Thanos' attack. Maybe he prematurely ended his file to fool everyone into thinking that the Sacred Timeline Loki is dead, while he can secretly rule over the TVA, dictating the flow of time to his wishes, maybe even with a focus of eliminating any other version of himself that could be a threat. We have seen a lot of variant Lokis in this series. That's not to say that Loki is doing all of this on his own. Loki has served beneath several high-profile villains in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I imagine perhaps Loki is secretly working beneath Kang the Conqueror. Perhaps Kang created the TVA and left Loki to rule it. This feels like a much more organic way to wrap up the series. Watching the variant of Loki we've been following find out that his sacred timeline counterpart was behind all of this would be a very Loki thing to do. And while the sacred timeline variant of Loki was redeemed, he is still a trickster, and we also don't even know his motivations yet. It would also work very well with the theme, as multiple versions of Loki are the main focus of this series, and it'd be a little strange to break that in the final episode. Also, with Kang the Conqueror being the big bad behind the sacred timeline Loki, it would work as an organic transition into Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. I know this theory is a bit out there, but tell me in the comments, do you think that the sacred timeline Loki might be behind the Time Variance Authority, and behind him, Kang the Conqueror? Let me know in the comments! Thank you all for watching, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and share, and also be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all next time.